Offers.com is one of the leading coupon and deals websites. We take coupons and deals from the top stores and we put them all in one place to make it real easy for consumers to save both time and money. And these are electronic coupons, right? I mean, what happens is there is a code that you type in and that's a promotional item and then you get a discount apparently. C correct. Sometimes there's a code, sometimes it's just clicking on the link that gets it to you, and sometimes it's just knowing that you're getting the best deal you can by using a site like ours. And it's perfectly legal, right? I mean, you can use these codes and it doesn't matter whether the company sent them to you or you went to your site, offers.com, in order to get them. Yeah, right. In fact, we work with the retailers to make Make sure we have the best codes and that they work because uh, consumers don't like it when they don't work. What are some of the different types of coupons? I mean, I know that they are time sensitive, they are also product sensitive, and it's a way maybe for a retailer to clean out their inventory. Yeah, so there's coupons, there's deals. Right now, there's a big trend in using the word promos. And it's not really clear why they're shifting to the word promos, but uh, there's, that, that's one of the interesting trends now. All right. Well, I want to bring in uh, Craig Johnson, uh, joining us, uh, retail expert. Craig, you made it in. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Well, a little we're bit of talking, traffic today. We're talking about uh, offers. Offers and the idea that mm -hmm. coupons are changing the way that online retailers connect with their customers. J.C. Penney, they thought that maybe coupons were a thing of the past. That didn't work out so well, did it? Uh, well, it's been a real mixed bag at best for J.C. Penney. Actually, Ron Johnson, ten dollar coupons. In other words. Less so the percentage up, but the $10 coupons, people think, oh, this is great. It's $10 off whatever the basket size is. Steve Schaefer, if this is the case, then there really is no full price, right? Right. I mean, shoppers now expect a coupon. Uh, there's a lot of folks out there, they'll, they'll fill up their shopping cart, and then if they don't have a coupon or a coupon code, they'll just leave it full and they'll wait. Um, part of it is the game and part of it is they just want that confidence to know they're getting the best offer they can when they, when they close the sale, when they, when, they, when they shop. Give us an idea of some of the uh, big companies that you work with and the ways in which they gauge what kinds of coupons and what kind of deals to offer their uh, potential customers. Yeah, so we work with the big companies, Sears, Kohl's, JCPenney. JCPenney obviously is back with coupons. Um, one of the ones that we've seen really successful is they, they take what they think their average order is going to be. So let's say it's $300, and then offer $35 off over $300 plus free shipping, right? So there's a lot of analytics that goes into that. They obviously are picking the coupon themselves and designing it. Um, another one was a $100 uh, sale, save 10% and get free And this shipping. is for JCPenney? No, th one of those was Sears what? and one was Kohl's. Oh, okay, all right. JCPenney for back to school did a 10% off coupon uh, and it was a code, and it was plus whatever was on sale. So you got it on sale, and then you got an extra 10% off. And, and they hadn't done that for a while, as, as we all know. Craig, uh, this is the new world of retailing, isn't it? I mean, no one waits for uh, anything full price.